zooming in. If you're um, tuning in now, you have to bear with me. I'm actually trialing live streaming, okay? So this is the card we're going to make. This is my sample. Okay, now I've cut all my bits out. Okay, let's wait a second for some more people to join. Now, you guys didn't know that I was live streaming, so this is going to be interesting, but we'll see how we go. Uh, just bear with me a second while I work out what I'm doing. So, just bear with me. Talk amongst yourselves, not that there's anybody here, but if there was... Oh, there's somebody with us. Hi, whoever that is. This is my first ever live stream, so please bear with me. I'm going to try and work out how to see it on my tablet at the same time. Uh, not entirely sure how I do that. So let's have a look. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Right. Let me just re take that down. Right, okay, cool. I can see one person's watching. That's cool. Say hi in the chat if you want to. This is my first time, so you will just have to bear with me. Um, I'm going to make a start in a bit. I know there's only like one of you on, because I didn't say I was doing a live, a live stream, so this is, uh, this is new territory for me. But anyway, we're going to see what we can do. Um, so yeah, just going to hold on a moment. We've got four people joined. Wonderful, wonderful. It's my first ever live stream, guys, so please bear with me. <laughs> this could not, this might not go right, I don't know. We will have to see what happens. Right, so I'm just going to hold on for a little bit more. So this is this is basically, well, for those of you who are here, uh, I decided to have a go with a Z-Fold pop-up block card. So this is, you found this by chance, cool. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad you found us. Hi from Virginia. Hi to Virginia. Oh my goodness, I'm in the UK. It's sunny here, thankfully. What's it like over there? Um, <laughs> yeah, so I thought I'd never go with a live stream. I've not done one, so I just thought let's do a freestyle Friday and have a go and see how we get on. This all could go horribly wrong, but hopefully it won't. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're going to do this card here, which folds flat to fit in a 5x7 card. This is just my sample card, okay? So this is not obviously finished this is just me last night working out what the next thing to do sunny and bright here in dublin ah oh, fabulous ah oh, yes dublin oh, i like dublin i've been to dublin before wonderful place of the world um and nice and sunny good is it warm over there it's sort of about i think it's about 17 or 18 here it feels warmer in the sunshine but it's nice oh 7 a.m and rainy oh i'm sorry diane dear me yeah we, we had a bit of that over the last couple of days as well i have to say <laughs> we used to rain in the England. We really are. Um, right, how many have we got? Ten of us watching. Okay, shall I make a start? Shall I wait a little bit longer? I don't know how these things work. Um, as you can see, I've got all my bits cut out. I've stuck some of my pieces together just for speed. Um, but yeah, I think we'll just make a start. And if people join, people join. I've got 13 of us now. Maybe we'll hold on a bit longer. I just don't want you guys who already joined to get bored. <laughs> But I know like when I've seen, when I watch live streams back that other people have done, then people kind of hang on for a bit, don't they? And then when obviously when you watch it back, um, yeah, you then, you know, <laughs> just fast forward past the boring chatting at the beginning. Um, okay, let, what time is it now? 12.05. We'll wait another two minutes and then we will make a start. So for those of you who are already here, I'm just going to run through quickly what you need in case you want to craft along with me. I mean, you might not want to, but I've got uh, a few bits and bobs. Uh, in fact, let's just make a start. Let's make a start. Why not? And then whoever joins, joins. Right. Okay. Yeah, exactly. They should. They can catch up later. I agree. I agree, Holly. I agree. Right. So we'll make a start. So the first thing you need is a base card that is five inches by 12 inches. Okay. So this is your main base part. Um, I'm going to, I'll come to the rest of the bits as we go through. I think that might be easier unless you want to do otherwise, but I'm going to do that. Right. So if we start with the, um, the base card, move these bits out of the way, I'm going to bring my scoreboard in my good old trusty faithful. We are memory keepers scoreboard. And we're going to score obviously along the long edge like we normally do. So we're going to score along the long edge. And you're going to score at three and a half inches, at four and three quarter inches, 
at seven and a quarter inches and eight and a half inches. Okay, so that's your, hopefully you can see my score lines. So that's that. Now that isn't the only scoring we need to do. So I don't know if you can see my score lines, actually you might not be able to. But anyway, they're the score lines. Um, and then going from left to right, we're going to do a valley, a mountain, a mountain and a valley. Okay, so we're going to start with a valley. She says going to do a mountain. Ooh, I'm not quite awake just yet, you have to bear with. So we're going to do a valley to start with. Then we're going to do a mountain. Excuse me if I keep turning it round, it's just because I'm right-handed. And so I need to keep turning it round for that. So that's your first bit. And then we want a mountain and then a valley. Just that like that. And then a valley. I'm going to turn it around again just because I need to get it on the right hand side. Okay. So you should end up with that. Okay, so that's your, your base. And that's what it looks like. And obviously, because of the way I've done the back, the back then folds and meets nicely in the middle. I was going to have them overlapping, but I thought for the sake of an envelope, it'd be better if they meet nicely in the middle. So that's what we've got there. I'm just going to re-burnish my draw lines. So that's your base. So now what you want to do is put that to one side and bring in your other base pieces. Now I've done them a different colour, just because I thought it might be quite cool to have different colour boxes. So on here, these boxes here are all made out of base card, um, but I've used a blue rather than just keeping it as a white. So you will need two pieces that are three and a quarter by four, and four inches is the height. Okay, so that's the height of them. Um, sorry, that's the height of them. Where am I? Four, four inches. Yeah, four inches is the height. So that's that's the height of them. So you need two pieces like that. You need two pieces that are two and three quarter by three. Okay, so you need two of those. You need two pieces that are two and a quarter by two. And that is all you need for these extra pieces. Right, so if we start with the two big pieces. So these are the uh, three and a quarter by four. So along the three and a quarter inch edge, you want to simply score at one inch, at two inches, and at three inches. Now it does mean your tab is only a quarter of an inch wide, but it's fine. I just think that the, the least you have this tab, the better, because you don't see it so much on the original card then. So you're going to repeat that on the other one. Hi Beverly from Maryland, good to see you, good to see you. What's the weather like over in Maryland? I was just saying to the others, it's nice and sunny here for a change in the UK, in Birmingham anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, we've had a lot of rain recently, so I'm glad to see the sun. Right, okay, so that's your two, um, your two big pieces. So then we move on to the two smaller pieces. Um, if you guys are coming in, um, you know, now and you've obviously missed the beginning of it, you can always watch it back. I didn't want to hang around and, do you know what I mean, get everyone boring. Oh, it's raining cloudy. Oh, I'm sorry. I know we had some of that recently. I know what rain's all about. We have a lot of that. Right, so if we move on to the two pieces that are two and three quarter by three inches, you want obviously the three inches as the height, so you're scoring along the two and three quarter inches um, side, and you want to score at three quarters of an inch, at one and three quarters, and two and a half. Okay, so that's that one. And you're going to repeat that on the other one. Oh, good evening, Deborah from South Wales, Australia. My goodness, evening! Wow, it's like ten past twelve here in the UK, so that's that's crazy. Um, right, uh, where was I? Yes, yeah, so we're rescoring. We're scoring this one as well. So three quarters, one and three quarters, and two and a half. So there we go. So that's the middle one. Okay, so that's the two big ones, the two smaller ones. So now if we go for the two little ones, and these are the ones that are two and a quarter by two, and you're going to score along the two and a quarter inch edge, and both of these need scoring at half an inch, at one and a half inches, and at two inches. Oh, it's ten past nine. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's ten past. Oh, so you're like, 
So are you still on Friday then? Or no? Yeah, you're on Friday, aren't you? So it's 10 past 9 on a Friday or 10 past 9 on a Thursday? I'm trying to remember if you're ahead or behind us. So, because it's Friday here and it's 10 past midday in the UK. Um, right, where was I? Half an inch, one and a half, and two. This is quite cool, actually. I quite like I like the fact I can actually talk to you real time rather than just answering comments. <laughs> right, so that's all the scoring we need to do. So let's get rid of the scoreboard. We don't need that anymore. Yeah, Friday. Okay, so you're ahead of us then. Oh, wow. So you've had Friday. We're still halfway through Friday. Wow. Okay, cool. I love it. I love this uh, This uh, talking to people from the other sides of the, of the world. Right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to mountain fold all of our score lines. I've actually just gone back from uh, Switzerland. I was in Switzerland over the weekend uh, and it was beautiful over there. Oh my goodness. We stayed in Bern, um, beautiful part of the world, and we went up to Interlaken. I'll probably pronounce that wrong. Um, yeah, we had a wonderful time and it was so sunny and warm. It was like 30 degrees, which for us in the UK is like a heat wave. So I was struggling a little bit with the heat, I have to say. Not very good with uh, not very good with, with hot, you know, heat and sun. I burn. I burn very easily. But it was beautiful and it was just nice to have, you know, some nice weather. Um, and it's beautiful, beautiful views as well. So that's that one. Oh yeah, as well, while I'm thinking about it, this card that I'm using is like with the other pillar cards. This is um it's about a 180, I think it's about a 180 GSM. Um you don't want anything too thick because otherwise you'll end up with a bit of a bumpy card. It won't fold very well and it'll end up very, very um what's the word? Just bulky, basically. It's very bulky. So let's just oh fold these score lines see this is the bit i normally fast forward when i do a video <laughs> so you guys don't have to sit and watch me folding card but on a live stream i'm afraid you have to sit and watch me but i suppose if you're um if you're trying to go along you know craft along with me which i don't suspect mm -hmm. any of you are just because of the fact that i didn't give anybody warning that i was going to do this it was actually a prompt uh, this was a last minute dot com decision, I have to say. Because I was sat here and I was actually about to film this card as a video. And then I thought, well, you know what, let me just do it as a, as a live stream and get over my fear of doing live stream. And also um, kill two birds with one stone. So the video that was supposed to be uploaded today, I've moved. So that will be going up in a couple of weeks time. Although I might jig it around. I might try and make that so it goes up on Sunday. I'm not sure. So what I'm going to try and do, I think, is I'm going to try and do a live stream once every couple of weeks. Something like that. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Right, so these are all your pillars, your little block things. So we can turn them around like this. And what we want to do is we want to put red tape, or you can use wet glue, whatever you want to do. But probably um, red tape's probably better, actually, for this. Um, is I'm going to put red tape on that tab there. And also on this, so the two end tabs, basically, the two middle tabs, we don't want um, any red tape on. And we're going to do that on all of our pieces. Okay, so uh, you'll need some skinny red tape um, because these tabs are skinny. Oh, no, it's the scissors. Yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm going to try and do once, well, I'm going to try and do like, definitely once a month, do a live stream potentially once a fortnight we will see how we go with that one um yeah and we'll just have to see it'll i'm, I'm thinking about doing a wednesday but um i'm not sure we'll just have to see life's a bit hectic at the moment to be honest with you so we'll just have to see how we go and see what happens see so i'm not going to make any promises but um i will do as much as i can uh but yeah, life is rather hectic. You never know what each day's gonna hold. So yeah, what are you guys up to today? Obviously, apart from watching me, you know, doing anything interesting? Got any good plans for the weekend? What's everyone up to? I'm having to talk to you. Normally, as I said, normally I'd fast forward this bit, but because uh, you guys are live, you're gonna have to watch me tape. I'm gonna have to watch me tape. So oh, northwest. 
Georgia. Fantastic, Jane. Good to have you here. What's the weather like over there? Classic discussion, is it? Weather. <laughs> What's the weather like in Georgia? Over here, we've got sunshine for a change, which is really nice. So I put my washing out, which I don't usually have a chance to do. So saying to everybody, it's nice that I can actually talk to you guys in real time. Holiday weekend. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, what holiday? What is it like a bank holiday? Because I think we... Is this our I think this might be our bank holiday because it's the Queen's Jubilee and I have a feeling it's this weekend. I'm not sure. I know that the schools around here break up um, on Friday. So next week my son will be off school. I know that much. Um, but I'm not sure. I have a feeling it's the bank holiday weekend. I'm pretty sure it is because we usually have a bank holiday at the end of... Uh, oh, it's raining. I'm sorry. If you're not the only one, Jane, trust me. Oh, Memorial Day. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got the Queen's Jubilee coming up, and I can't remember if it's this weekend or if it's coming up, which is terrible, isn't it? I should know these things, but I'm afraid I don't. Um, I have a feeling it's this weekend, but I, I don't know for sure. It's either this weekend or next weekend, I'm pretty sure. But um, we definitely have a bank holiday coming up because we always have one at the beginning of May and one at the end of May in the UK. I remember the days when we used to have one in a in, in May, but now it seems we have more than one. So let me um, finish off this last one. What's everybody else got planned for the weekend? So the USA people are all going to be doing Memorial Day. Oh, Chattanooga. Hello, Marie. Good to see you. Good to have you. Is it raining in Chattanooga as well? Um, I've got quite a few people who are raining. Happy, yeah, seeing lots of uh, photos of decorations for Jubilee. Yeah, same. Um, our local, one of our local Hobbycraft stores, uh, hobby, Hobbycraft, that's me giving them, one of our local, I'll start that sentence again. One of our local craft stores, which is called Hobbycraft, they've had quite a lot of stuff recently about um, Queen's Jubilee. So it's not raining right now. Okay, that's good. Is it cloudy or have you got sunshine? We've got sunshine over here in Birmingham in the UK which is unusual, we don't get it very often, so <laughs> we have to make the most of it when it comes. Right, okay, so I've done all my taping, so there's all my bits taped up. So then if you want, you want to bring in your base card again, the one we did at the beginning. Um, so this is, just for those of you who joined a bit later on, so this is a five by 12 piece, and we scored at three and a half, four and three quarters, seven and a quarter, and eight and a half. Okay, so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need four matte layers it's cloudy. Oh, okay. Is it warm though? If it's warm and cloudy, it's not so bad. Um, still early morning. Oh, really? What time is it in in uh, northeast? Where are you again? Georgia? No, are you in Georgia? I think I can't remember. Holly, what? How early is it in in where you are now? <laughs> right. Anyway, so I'm getting distracted. I'm not used to having comments and uh, <laughs> trying to craft at the same time. Right. So you need some matte pieces. Now you need four in total. Two for the front and two for the back. So you need, um, they're basically three and three eighths by four and seven eighths, okay? And so two are gonna go on the front here and two are gonna go on the back. The ones that are on the front, you also need a piece of pattern paper, two pieces, and these are gonna be three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So as you see, I've stuck my pattern down already onto my mat and I'm now gonna stick the, both pieces onto there. So what's everyone saying? 7.19 a.m. Wow, that is early. Goodness me, 20 past seven this morning, I was still getting my son ready for school. I was making pat lunches, having my breakfast, and uh, yeah, 7.20. Oh, wow, okay. Hi from Australia. Hi, Kay from Australia and Muriel. Uh, it's 7.30 at night. Okay, oh, cool. Love my shows. Thank you so much. It's so nice, you know, seeing everyone's comments and getting all the love. It's just, uh, it's just nice. It really is. So, uh, yes, thank you guys for leaving comments as well. It's great. It's great. It's great. Um, and then Devona, you're in Maryland. Oh, you're from Maryland, but you're in Kentucky. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, see, I'm not from Birmingham originally, but I am obviously from the UK. I'm originally from Cambridge. It's a nice place where the university is. 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. What's that in centigrade? I'm not good with Fahrenheit. Is that, sound, is that cold? 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Not good with, not good with Fahrenheit. So, uh, yeah, right, let me stick this down, let me stick this down, 
and then we can move on to the ones at the back. Right, so let's stick this down on here, like this. I don't know about you guys, wherever you guys are, but um, in the UK we we haven't got a really we haven't really got a lot of uh, craft companies making new papers and things. So normally, guys, I work for Trim Craft and Do Crafts, and I demo for them. Um, just to tidy as I go. Um, and yeah, I've not had any demos, obviously, because of lockdown and COVID. And I mean, we're not in lockdown now, but because of COVID. Um, and so, as a result, I've noticed as well, they haven't really produced any new papers. So I'm kind of struggling a bit for new stuff. So this, all the papers I've used today are out of my stash. I've got um, a pad that I've had a few years. In fact, I think I got given it from my Swindon ladies. Um, and it was uh, from the range. It's just like, a, I think it's a craft sensation pad. But um, yeah, I'm sort of just using stash stuff at the moment, which is difficult because it means I can't, um, I can't really recommend, you know, or leave links or anything because a lot of it's old stuff. But anyway, never mind. Uh, 64 degrees is 18. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's about what we've got here. We've got about 18 here. Um, I think in the sunshine it's probably a little bit warmer. But it's warm enough to put washing out, so that's the main thing. That's the main thing. Nice and cool, Holly. That's good. Oh, okay, yeah. Nice and cool. It's funny, actually, because I know that over in um, Switzerland, where I went at the weekend, beautiful place, and it was 30 over there. Oh, hi from Sweden, Kurt Karin. Um, I've been to Sweden. I've been to Stockholm. Do you, I've been, in fact, I've been three times. We've got a church over there, so we went to help out. Uh, I love Sweden. Um, yes, yeah, so we were in Stockholm, and then we were also in. Oh, I can't remember that. Sun Sunberberry. Sunberberry. That's probably I probably haven't pronounced that right. But anyway, <laughs> we were somewhere else. I love Sweden. Whenever there's a little trip to Sweden happening, I'm I'm there. I'm on the plane. Um, I've always wanted to go to Norway. I've done Norway actually once, but I'd like to go back there. I've always wanted to do Denmark and Finland and um, what's the other one? Denmark, Finland. Oh, I don't know. My brain's gone. There's another one over there that I wanted to do as well. I'm hoping to go to Germany later in the year. Hopefully, if all things go well. So I'm just sticking. Um, I'm just sticking my mat down onto the back here of these side pieces. 12 degrees. Oh, that's a bit chilly, Deborah. That's a bit chilly. I can't remember where you were now, Deborah, but that is chilly. Brrr. I think we've had it. In fact, I think this morning at 12, uh, 7 and 7 a.m. or whatever time it was, it was about 12 degrees then. Chilly, chilly. But I've ended up switching my, um, I've actually switched my heating off now. Because... I don't need it on. Sometimes in the evening it gets a bit chilly, but I'll just add an extra blanket. The prices of gas and electricity have gone so high. It's better just to... Um... Oh, hi from the Netherlands. Yes, I've been over to the Netherlands. Love the Netherlands. Lovely part of the world as well. Fabulous. Okay, so that's those two pieces. I'm just going to tidy as I go, as I tend to do in videos. So if you hear a rustle on the side then um, that's just me putting things in my bin. Okay, so that is that. Now, did I? No, I didn't. Right. Okay, so I didn't cut any bits out for these sides here. And the reason being because this, if I bring my sample back in, this main box here covers up most of it. And so I just decided there's no point. So if you want to, you can cut yourself um, a mat and a pattern for that bit there. But uh, I just thought there's not there's not really much point. So I've left that bit blank. So on the front, I've got um, a piece of mat card that is two and three eighths by four and seven eighths and a pattern piece that's two and a quarter by four and three quarters. I'm going to go ahead and stick that on in the middle. Hi, um, from Cork City, Ireland and New Zealand. Fantastic. Yes, I've been, I haven't been to Cork. I would like to go to Cork. I have been to Ireland. I've done Belfast and I've done Dublin liked both of those and also Straban, been to Straban for work when I was working with Marks and Spencers I went to Straban, beautiful places and I've, I've always wanted to go you know further down in Ireland and have a bit of a you know to see what's what's what down there because I know I know Ireland is beautiful and New Zealand I have been to New Zealand you feel like I've been everywhere <laughs> oh in Germany I've been Germany as well <laughs> 
Yes, I've been to New Zealand. I love New Zealand. I really want to come back to New Zealand. New Zealand is on my hit list to return to. I absolutely loved New Zealand. Just everything. When we came, we came in August. This was a few years ago now. Um, and it was really cold because I'd forgotten that your summers are your winters are our summers and our and vice versa. I forgot that. So I didn't pack. <laughs> I didn't pack for that. Who else have we got? We've got um, another lady from the Netherlands. Henny from the Netherlands. Uh, Mrs. Craft. Uh, it's 18 degrees and you're from Canada. See, I've always wanted to come to Canada. My cousins actually live in Canada. Uh, Monica from Germany. Hello, wie geht's? Geht's gut? I know a little bit of German, not much. <laughs> Uh, and Margate, good old Margate. We like Margate. I used to go. I remember going to Margate as a kid. Um, right, so we've stuck down our front layers. So there we go. So now we're going to move on to our boxes. So I think the best thing to do with these is to stick them down first and then decorate because otherwise you get confused as to what goes where. So we want to make sure with all of our boxes that you have a big section and then your small tab is on the right. So this, this section here that you've taped is on the left and the small tab is on the right. And what we're going to do is we're just going to um, peel off the tape, all of the backing on this large section. I think you love red tape when it doesn't come off. I shouldn't have, ouch, I shouldn't have cut my nails the other day. Should I just stab myself up the nail with a piece of red tape? It's not the best idea. Right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to make sure we line this edge up with the very corner of that crease there. Make sure it's level top and bottom and then just close the card on it. Right, who else have we got? We've got Tina from Denmark. Hi, Tina. I was just saying earlier that I really want to go to Denmark. <laughs> That's one of my places I'd love to go to. Um, hi, Rita from Bexhill. Good old Bexhill. That's near London, isn't it? Is that London? Kind of like for me, it's down south anyway, I'm pretty sure. And Beverly, you can't wait to have a play at this. <laughs> I'm your number one craft artist. Oh, thank you so much, Rita. That's so kind. Oh, bless you. Here we are. <laughs> it's just really nice when I hear people say these things. Honestly, I'm just like, it's just little old me. Right. So, when we've done that, then we want to do is we are going to um, fold along the second line. So, we're going to take the backing off this uh, here. Oh. I've got a very, here we go, there we go. Right, so we need to fold along this line here, like that. And then what I would do actually is I would I would do that. I would kind of put this back this way, fold along that second line, and then close the card onto it. I would do that if I were you. Um, yeah, near Hastings. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, I used to go on family holidays in Hastings. So you're, you're not far away from Margate then, are you? Because Hastings and Margate are quite close. Yes, so there we go. So that's... Uh, that's the first one in. Okay, so now we're going to go for the next box. If you wanted to, you could just go ahead and just like do like for white either side. But I like to do all of one side and then all of the other side. So that's that side done. So if we get the next one down, which is this one, and again, make sure your little tabs on the right and your big tabs on the left. So we're going to repeat the process again. We're going to take the backing off of the big tab and then again, just slot it in. So that that cut edge, Margate is in Kent. Oh, sorry. You know what? I was only little. <laughs> my geography is rubbish. East Sussex. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. My brain's not very good enough with geography. I got about an E. I think I got an E in GCSE geography. So there you go. That says everything, doesn't it? Um, right. So, um, yeah. So this cut edge here, if you butt it up against the um, edge of that box that you just put in, in that corner, and then just close your card onto it. I know, lol indeed. <laughs> I was terrible at geography. I really was. Um, right, let me put that over there. So then what we're going to do, same thing again. So what I would do is I would just fold this. We, you can do it either way, actually. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to um, peel the backing off and then fold along that line there. And then if you just, you can actually just... Um, fold the whole thing flat because you want it to fold that flat anyway so you're best to stick it flat so if you just I don't know if you can see that so you see there I'm just going to fold that in I'm hoping you can see that mm -hmm. fold that in there and then I'm just going to um shut that there like that okay and then that makes your other little box and this is why having a quarter inch tab is actually quite a good idea because you can't really see the tabs very well. I've also just deliberately chosen a colour card that's similar colour to the backing pattern. 
Um, and then we need to take the small um, piece, the small box, and I'm going to peel off the backing tape on this on the larger of the two tabs and repeat the process again. So this is going to go in there like that. And I'm just going to close that on like that. And then we're going to peel the small tab off here. I'm going to fold along this top section here, fold it completely back on itself and then stick the whole thing down flat. And that is how you end up with um, three little boxes. Now I've just heard my phone go, so I'm just going to have a quick look. If you start swinging in the wind, I apologise. Oh no, it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that my son's school hadn't rung me for any reason, but they haven't, so that's good. So apologies if you're now swinging in the wind. Um, hello from Arkansas. Wow, hi. Good morning. Oh, okay, good morning. It's, it's just about afternoon for us now. It's 12.30. Um, right, so we've done that. I'm now going to turn the whole thing around and repeat the whole process again on this side. So go back to the big box again, take off the large, the tape off the large tab. I know it's not really a tab, it's a section. And then I'm going to butt it up against that edge there, close the card onto it like that. And then go along this second line, take the tape off that tab there like that, fold along that line and shut it flat. Each time you want to keep shutting it flat because then it just means that um, yeah you're getting it so that when it when it goes in the envelope it will lie flat. You also want to make sure you stick them pretty tight into that crease because you don't want too much to pop out the sides of the cards here. So we're going to go for the next one which is the medium size box. Ouch just stuck tape line up my nail again. It's always good. Right so let's just Peel the backing off. There we go. And then we're going to do it again. So central, if you want to, you can just double check that you've got it in line with the one on the other side. This is why tape is better to use than glue for this. Because previously, where I've tried to put that in, sometimes it slips underneath the previous box uh, because the, the glue is not completely dry. I've had that happen before and then you end up with a bit of a problem. So then we're going to fold on the second score line. And then we're going to squash it down flat. Now, I didn't squash that down as flat as I should. It actually stuck before I managed to squash it. So we might end up with a small box sticking out the side. Hopefully we won't. But I have a feeling that we might. Uh, yeah, we're a little bit. OK, fine. So then we are going to take the tape off of this side here. So let's take this off here. There we go. And then we're going to make sure again it's central top and bottom and we're going to fold it flat onto it and as you can probably see i've got a little bit where this fold line is here it is slightly off and it's also slightly um yeah i went slightly wonky with this piece i believe but there we go never mind right so then we're going to take the tape off of there like that fold that over and stick that down so as you can see that does go over ever so slightly on that edge but it's literally by a what a sixteenth so it's not the end of the world okay so there's your main box well not box main card base done so that's that so now we need to decorate it now if you wanted to you could do the panoramic panel card type thing so you could actually um you know make it go step down um but i decided today i wasn't going to do that so you need the following pieces let me quickly say rita wow another one of your showstoppers you're going out shortly okay cool definitely make it when you get home yeah well i hope you have a nice time when you go out and uh yeah have try and have a go when you get home <laughs> tell me how you get on um right so you're gonna need two matte layers that are seven eighths wide by three and seven eighths tall and they're going to go here and here. And then you need two pieces that are seven eighths wide by two and seven eighths. And they're going to go there and there. And then you need two pieces that are seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And surprise, surprise, they're going to go on the end. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to stick these pieces down. Now I've pre-taped everything because I just figured that everyone's not going to want to watch me. Um, taping all these pieces up because there's quite a lot of pieces here 
The only thing I didn't do before I came on was I didn't get myself a greeting ready. So you have to bear with me with that. And then how do I stop it sticking to my fingers? That's a very good question. I kind of flick it. <laughs> very technical. Very technical. I just flick it. Also, on my desk, I've actually got, this is actually wallpaper that I've got underneath here. And then I've got this plastic. It's like a plastic, like can you see, see my hand underneath it. It's like a plastic protector for the work surface. And so it's quite staticky. So it automatically wants to, like it's sticking on my finger, but if I just put it down, it automatically wants to stick to the plastic, which is quite helpful. Um, but other than that, I just kind of flick, I just kind of flick it. <laughs> very technical, I know, very technical. Um, the other things where you could maybe try and use is, uh, I think I've used baby wipes in the past with limited success, it has to be said. Um, right, let's stick this down. Now this is a bit tricky because you're kind of doing it in midair. And you haven't got much border but you can pretty much get it stuck down oh let's uh peel the backing off here there we go and then stick that down i don't want to move my head over because i'm going to end up with my head in the way and nobody wants to see that there we go and then turn it around just so i can always work on the right hand side that one looks a bit wonky but anyway yeah, I, I have trouble too. Even now I have trouble, especially with small pieces. Big pieces like that, it's not so bad. But small pieces, oh my goodness. I'm flicking them off into my bin and they just constantly stick into me. Sometimes I find them down the hallway carpet. And one time when my little boy was very small, I remember he was in the bath. He's like, Mum, what's that? What's that? And I was like, oh, it's a piece of tape liner. <laughs> it, it stuck to my sleeve and followed me around the house and uh, ended up in his bath. So there you go. That's what happens. The life of a crafter. People who don't craft have no idea the troubles we have to put up with, eh? Hey? There we go, that's that one. And then last but not least, we want this piece here. Now I have stuck that a little bit too snug. I haven't done the best of lining that up. Um, see, normally when I do a video, if I need to get a line up, I don't want to put my head in the way, I will just cut that bit out of the video. But obviously because I'm live, I can't do that. So let's, oh, there we go. Right. So there you go. That's that decorated. Let me just clear away all these said bits of tape liner. Oh, oh, see, this is the problem. They fall on the floor as well. Oh, let me just whiz them in the bin. Right. So, oh, Auckland. Hi, Carol. Yes, I've been to Auckland. It's beautiful. I love Auckland. I love it a lot. Very, very nice. I want to come back. I want to come back to Auckland. Um, right. So, yeah. So there's the uh, the finished card. All we need to do then is turn over and you want to cut yourself some plain pieces to go in here. If you wanted to, you could do one there as well. You could do a, a, a matte piece uh, and you could even do a pattern piece there if you want to. I didn't think that far ahead. So I'm now going to quickly just cut out the uh, pieces for here. So these pieces, you need two of them three and a quarter by four and three quarters okay and I think I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with like a pale blue I'm using for those of you in the UK I'm using this uh, blues pack from Hobbycraft I think I really like it it's a really good pack because it's all the different different colors um, and it's just got quite a nice little um, range in here so I love that I haven't used this yet I really want to use that it's a beautiful one, that one is. I'm um, hoping you can see that. Yeah, they're kind of glinty. And then we've got all the different rainbow blues going all the way through. And then that one there is also another kind of shiny one um, all the way through. Um, right, let me just quickly cut these bits out and then I will show you how it goes in the envelope um, to mail. Is that going to be big enough? Maybe. I might be able to squeeze it or do I want to go? No, I'm going to go blue, I think. I'm not going to go white. Let me go white. These are the decisions you never hear me making when I'm on the video. I, you don't hear me go, what am I doing? How am I going to do this? Right, wait, wait, let me get some white card out. Right, so what do you say? How do you fold it to mail? Right, so what you do is you fold that down, fold that down, and then that then is flat. So can you see? You've got a bit of bulk, and that's why you want to use finish card. Okay, 
so that's how it folds flat um watching from australia love your work and love me oh thank you that's so nice to hear thank you Di uh, diana um right let me get some white card out for this uh, let me look through my little box of scrappy bits that i have here i'm sure everyone has a scrappy bit like me what does it need to be three and a quarter by four and three quarters yeah three and a quarter by four yeah that's one piece okay let me find another piece just out of interest, where you all are, what is your craft supplies like in your area? So craft shops, um, access to craft, because I seem to have quite a few comments of people who um, struggle to get decent papers and things. So where you are, what, what's it like? You know, do you manage to get stuff? Do you buy stuff online? What's the situation with you? Do you, you know, do you get stuff? Is there like um, a local art and craft shop near you that you can go to? What's it like where you are? Because I have had quite a few people say, oh, you know, and like in Canada as well. I, can't, I had a lady in Canada who said she really struggles to get decent paper over there. Um, and I was quite surprised because Canada's quite a big place. So I really thought that, you know, you'd be able to get stuff, but, um, but obviously not. Okay, see you, Rita. Oh, you're going to the range. Oh, you lucky person. I hope your range is a good one. My range is a bit disappointing, the one near me. Have fun. Don't spend too much money. <laughs> and I'll see you soon, hopefully, on the on the next live stream or whatever. Have a good day. Four and three quarters. Right, there we go. There's our two white pieces. And so I'm turning these over. Right, let's stick this down. Now, if you want to stamp it, now's the time to stamp it. I think I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to stamp anything on this because I'm not sure what I want it to say. So I think we will go fairly neutral with the greeting on this, just so that then <laughs> have fun, Rita, have fun. Um, just so that then I can use it for any occasion. All right, let me this tape on this is the bit you didn't have to see me do with the other pieces because i'd already um i'd already uh pre-taped everything right let me just turn this around karen you mostly buy online but in the south of sweden there's a few craft stores okay right okay yeah um yeah i, I see things i i do buy online more than i used to because obviously with lockdown and that but um I'd like to be able to feel and look at papers, especially there's some papers I get and then I'm, I get them and I'm thinking, oh, that wasn't what I expected at all. So I do like to be able to see them. That's the thing. Um, Donna, watching from Ontario, Canada. Lovely cards. Thanks for sharing. Tanya, you always get yours online. OK, you're in the UK. Yeah, it's true. I think that there's I think we're very lucky in the UK because there is quite a lot of choice. I have to say since since Covid, the choice has been less because my local range has actually stopped stocking quite a lot of craft things. So the whole craft section now is like tiny. If you can hear my cat, I apologise. She's asking me for food. Pepsi, do you not know what time it is? I'm, I'm live streaming right now, love. Can't just stop and feed you, my dear. Um, what else we got? Uh, what days are you live? Beverly, um, I don't know. <laughs> this was an impromptu. Oh, yes, your first live. Oh, it's my first live too. <laughs> We're both live newbies together, Beverly. It's my first live too. I've never done a live before. Um, and I've been thinking about doing it, thinking about doing it. And then this morning, I was actually prepping this card to do as a video. And I thought, you know what? Let me just rearrange my scheduled video for today and do this as a live instead. So that's what I did. So you were supposed to have a different card today as a video. But I was like, let me just do a Freestyle Friday. It's quite Freestyle Friday. Sounds good. And let's just um, let's just go live and go for it. Very scary, I have to say. I didn't know what I was doing. The thumbnail for this is appalling because I had nothing. Because I haven't made, I've literally not made this card before. This is the first card that I've made. I made this last night out of scrap card just to see if it would work. So, yeah. <laughs> really really winging it today really winging it so there you go uh, right okay 
Now then, let's just stick this down. Where's my other bit gone? There it is. Right. Oh, oh no, let's go that way. So let's fold that in like that. Stick that down like that. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tanya. Your dog's now barking. <laughs> She so said, I've shut the door. I usually leave the door slightly open because if I'm filming and she comes in, I can usually make sure that she doesn't actually end up on the desk. But because I'm live, she'll just end up walking all over the desk. You'll, you know, you'll end up with a cat everywhere. So, yeah. Um, where else we got? Oh, Element, please do it. I'm ready to cry for long. My bell is on. Cool. I'm glad your bell is on. Yeah, it's my first time. I put my message up before I finished. Uh, I got a Michael's store. Nice. Uh, yeah, see, no, I don't really need paper either, if I'm honest. I don't really need paper either, but it's just a case of, like, now... I'll show you the pad I'm using, actually. Um, so the pad I'm using... This is the um, this is the mirror card that I've used. It's the Dovecraft Tropical Card Pack. And I've actually put it... I've actually decanted it all out, and I've put it in a folder, so then I can just go through, and I've just got scraps. I'll just put it in colour order. But I love it, because it's slightly matte, um, so it's really nice for... It's just really nice for, for crafting with. And then the pattern that I've used, oh, she's so struggling on the floor to get it. It's a craft sensations pad. Um, and it's really, I really like it. So uh, this one here. And I was just going through my stash. I was like, oh, what can I use for this card? And I was like, let me just use what I've got. So yeah, so I, and I almost used these spots and this one. I really like the rainbow spots. But I've ended up with, as you can see, it's well well used well loved i love that piece there so nice i don't think you can get this anymore this is the thing i wish that you know i could point you in the direction of somebody who has it but it's one of those pads that's you know been around for a while but craft sensations do really nice pads so yeah so that's that right let me just tidy my floor a little bit because i've got everything everywhere oh, i'm gonna end up coming a cropper Right, so now I need to find uh, a sentiment for it. Um, what was I going to say? Seven, seven dogs. My days, Tanya. What kind of, seven dogs? Seven? Wowzers. Goodness me. How do you cope with seven dogs? Goodness gracious. What kind of dogs are they? Let us know what kind of dogs they are. Wow. Seven dogs. My goodness. I've got one cat. I used to have two and then one of them well they both died actually but um yeah wow seven that's a lot uh don't want a thanks no i don't think i do want a thanks yeah muriel whereabouts are you again i've forgotten i, I can't keep up with who's where what when um whereabouts are you uh i don't see the thing is as well i've, I've sort of been struggling a bit with the fact that some people can't actually even get stuff online where they are so um i'd be interested to know you know what you can what you can have access to online as well um this is the struggle does anybody else have this problem i always struggle with finding a greeting always struggle with this are you in perth australia okay and there's nothing over there wow okay see this i tell you people in australia need to be who are you know into like selling things you need to be opening up craft stuff in these areas because there's a definite gap in the market in certain places. Right, I'm going to have to cut something out, I think. I don't know what to use for this. This is the problem I have. I get to a point where I don't know what to put on the front. And whenever I do a video, I usually forget to put something, get a topper out. And then when it comes to it, I end up just scrabbling around trying to find, you know, trying to find stuff. Um, good evening from SG boy yes hello good evening even good evening pomeranians and one staffy oh wow okay wow at least they're smaller they're not big dogs you had like seven i don't know seven whatever dalmatians or you know <laughs> that could be a problem right let me find a greeting of some description to bear with me uh cork Oh yeah, stamping up products. I've got a few stamping up products, but uh, I do like stamping up, but I, I just, I can't afford them to be honest with you, but I do like them. 
I do have a few bits and bobs where I've treated myself. Right, I don't know what to do for a greeting. Any suggestions? Um, maybe I should cut. I'm, I feel like it needs a die cut. I feel like if I use a big sentiment, then we're going to end up blocking off a lot of the paper. I quite like that thanks, but I think it's a little bit too small. So I think that we will have a look in my... You get to see my dies now. How about that? So you don't do this in a video, do I, normally? This is my die fold. I use the um, I use the uh, Dove, uh, Dewcraft storage folder. So let's have a look through. Let's see what we can find that would work, that we like the look of. Um, huh. What are we going to use? That's the thanks set. I'm not sure where I got that from. I have a feeling it was... Hmm. I'm not sure if that was... Um, from wow embossing powders or if that one was from wow the happy i can't remember which one was from wow but anyway oh i might use that one happy birthday that one might work well yeah i'm gonna use that one i like the happy birthday let's use that one right so your pomeranians are so noisy oh bless <laughs> um hi barbara in hammond louisiana wow it's fascinating seeing where people are from this is the joy of youtube that you can be in a completely different country and still tune in that's just crazy uh right let's go with let's have a think i think you need to go for a pink i think this needs to be pink that pink mirror and i think this needs to be white on top so let's do that so let's get a pink piece um let's have a look there's a pink piece, so that's going to be for that one, and then I need a white for the other. Now this is going to be, I've probably made work for myself here. Uh, hi Annette, hello, wie geht's? Geht's good? I, I speak a little bit of German, not a lot. Well, I'm going to bring in my big shot just to cut this out. Um, very well used big shot. Sure, everyone has a well used big shot with bits of washi tape stuck to the handle. I think that's just a standard thing for crafter, isn't it? Right, let's just take this through. There we go. That's that bit done. Okay, and then I just need some white card for the. Oh, I'm doing. Let's put it away. White card for the greeting. In fact, let me put it to one side because I need to cover it with. Um, tape to make it sticky because I do not want to um I don't want to end up battling with glue so let's just take a piece of white card this white card that I'm using is from paper mill direct I do like paper mill direct they have some wonderful 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 cards uh, types of card I actually work for them on the design team but I've not been the best recently trying to do projects for them just because life has been a bit busy but they do some wonderful things has to be said right now then that's going to go on there like that I'm just going to make a little mark there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover it in double-sided tape and i've got some brown tape here um let's use this now this stuff i quite like and I also hate it at the same time. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with this tape. Uh, let's go up to there. And then let's... There we go. And then that top section there, I'm going to use normal double-sided with. Uh, thank you, Barbara. That's very kind of you. It's very kind of you. It's really nice when people... I don't know. I just think little old me and people are bothering to take time out to watch my videos. It just uh, always astounds me. Always astounds me. Oh, uh, to there. So if you haven't got any double-sided adhesive, like stick it or whatever, this is the way to do it. This is the poor man's version. <laughs> so you get double-sided tape and you cover the back of your card. Remember which way around you've got it. And then you Stick that on like that and run it through. And that brown tape, you might end up having to go through a few times. 
because yeah because the backing's a bit tricky if you stick it stick it's good because stick it you don't have to worry about it you know it just goes through the backing nice and easily but this is the bit that always takes the time for me so as you can see it hasn't really gone through it has sort of gone through but as long as it's gone through the paper that's the main thing so let's just move that out the way and then let's take this here oh 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 this is the bit i always struggle with things like this right let's get the outer bit out and then it's going to be that way round. Okay, it's a good old pokey thing. This is the boring bit to watch. So I apologise for that. Right, let's just take out as much as we can. There we go. Okay, now we've got a weed. I hate weeding. Some people love weeding. I do not enjoy weeding at all. It has to be said. Um, right. Please feel free to comment in the um, in the comments. That's what you comment, isn't it? In the comments. Please feel free to leave me a comment. What you're doing this weekend? How your week's gone, etc. Any other questions? If anybody's got any questions about anything, I will try to answer the best I can. Can't promise that I'll be able to answer, but I will try. While I'm doing this boring thing of weeding a sentiment out. This is a bit on videos that you guys never see because I stop it usually. If I've got something like this and it's fiddly, I will usually stop it, uh, stop the video, weed it out, and then just magically on the video it magically appears all nicely weeded, all nicely done. Either that or I'll do it off camera before I start. But as I said, today was a bit impromptu. So mm -hmm. I didn't know I was actually... This morning when I woke up, I didn't know that I was going to be live streaming today. That's how important it was. Right, let's weed away. Weed away, weed away. But yeah, please uh, comment. Comment if you have any questions or you want to say hi or tell me how the weather. It's classic British. British need to talk about that, isn't it? The weather. Tell me how the weather is where you are, etc. And also, have you got any ideas? Have you got any uh, requests? Because I quite like it. I've had a few requests recently. I've had a request for a 5x7 version of the pull-down gift bag card that I did. Um, I've had a request for a 5x7 version of... Oh, what was it? Some other card, I can't remember. But I've done that now, so I, that video will be going up soon. And... I've got a request for a, uh, what else have I had a request for? Hmm. A few different ones. I've written them all down, don't worry. So if you've done a request, I have written it down. It's just getting through to them, really. Beverly, you're going to a barbecue. Oh, lovely. If you move the white cut out, the smaller piece will stay behind. Okay, we'll try that. But I have to say, when I've done that in the past, it hasn't. <laughs> so, yes. So we'll try it. We'll see. I hope it will. We'll start to peel and see how we go. Oh my goodness me. But because it's kind of... Oh yeah, it is. Because it's... Yeah, see here it hasn't. This is my problem. See, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on... I don't know. It depends on how well it's cut. But that one hasn't. That one hasn't. See, this is my problem. So quite a lot of it hasn't come out. This is the problem I have. I don't know what it is. I think it just depends on the tape and it depends on the stick. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. We're getting there. I'm just trying not to handle the sticky as much as I can, because otherwise it'll lose its sticky. Just be all full of my fingers. But yeah. I had no idea I do lives, nor did I. <laughs> this is my first one. <laughs> I don't do lives. I've never done a live in my life. I've never done a live in my life. <laughs> this is my first one. <laughs> uh, a Facebook page? No, I don't have a Facebook page. Um, I don't do Facebook. I had to have a Facebook account just because of working for Trimcraft and Docraft because they needed to keep in touch with their demonstrators. 
but I just don't go on there. I, and obviously, because at the moment I've not got no demos, there's sort of no point. I just don't like Facebook. <laughs> so, um, do I send up notifications? No, I've just literally, I think if you hit the, um, if you subscribe and then hit the notification button, it will then hopefully notify you when I do a live. Um, I was saying earlier that I'm hoping to do a live definitely once a month. I know it's not very much. Definitely once a month, possibly twice, um, once a once every fortnight, possibly, maybe once a week. You never know. We might have a few months when I can manage a once a week. Oh, I've got a bit stuck now. Sorry, bear with. We've got a bit stuck there. Can you just come off, please, mister? Can we not? Thank you. Um, yeah, so... I know, just a thought. It was a good thought, Kay. It was a good thought. Um, these things sometimes work and sometimes don't. Right, is that everything? I think that's all my bits now. Just to get this bit of backing off. Is that everything? Are we done? Are we are we weeded? We are. That's good. Right, let me go ahead and stick this down in the right place. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. We did it. Hurrah! Um, love to know how you make a 12 by 12 drawer unit to store my paper. Hmm, a 12 by 12 drawer unit. Now, then, you have to leave that one with me. The other thing is, you'd have to use very, very good solid card because otherwise it's going to bow, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, a fortnight is every two weeks, is a fortnight. Uh, it's not spelt like that. Oh, no, it is spelled like that, but it's all one word. Fortnite. It's um it's not I know it's a computing game as well, but that's not what I mean. <laughs> um you do have notifications set to all on my channel. Okay, Karen. Um yeah, I don't know then. To be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very techy at this. I really am not. I'm not very good at this tech business. So um yeah, I will try and give you guys more notice next time. Um uh, and funnily enough, there's a video that I've actually recorded and I think I've scheduled it. And I've said on there that I might be doing lives. Now, obviously, that's now going to go out after this first live. So you're going to watch that and go, hang on a second, she's already done a live. Because at the time of filming, I hadn't done a live. So there we go. Um, I know, including any bloopers, Tanya. <laughs> Hopefully there's not too many too many bloopers. Oh, my goodness. I tell you, if I, if I did a little blooper clip with all the bloopers that usually happens on a recording, you lot would be in stitches. The amount of things, me singing while I'm sticking stuff down, all kinds of things. Um, yeah, this Happy Birthday is a really nice one. I really like it. And I'm trying to think where it's from. If anybody knows where it's from, please feel free to help me out in the comments. Uh, my name is Louise. My name is Louise. Yeah. Loopy Lou, they used to call me when I was growing up. But now, probably still Loopy, actually. Probably still Loopy. Right, let's just add a couple of... You've probably seen me using my um, uh, the offcuts from my phone pads. I don't like to waste anything, so I'll just use that. Um, you did see that two videos uploaded this morning from you. Yeah, I actually moved the other one. So the other one, the other video um, that was supposed mm -hmm. to go up now for midday, I actually I've rescheduled it. So uh, that will go up soon in a couple of weeks' time. Right, let's mount this on here. I think that's level. Is that birthday level? I think it is. I think it's level. There we go. Is that level? That's level. What does that look like? Do we think we need gems? What do we think? I think I might put some gems on. Um, uh, this, uh, I use off cuts, yeah. You can't, I just don't like wasting, so I try and use off cuts wherever I can. Now, you know what? You said about the video being a bit blurred. Mine is also, so I'm watching it on my tablet and it does look blurred, um, which is weird because on my on my actual, um, oh, it is a bit blurred actually on my on my phone. I'm doing it, I'm filming it on my phone. And it is a bit blurred on my phone, so I don't know. I might might be something to do with the settings. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Tanya. Um, I'm not sure what I'm. See, I don't know what I'm doing wrong or right, or I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, it's clear for you, Karen. Cool. I figured because I watched it on my tablet and it's really blurry, and I thought it was maybe just because I've got 
uh, obviously filming on my phone and then my um, tablet is in the same room so it's using the same Wi-Fi and I didn't know whether it might be something to do with that so I don't know but I'm glad you guys it looks clear to you um, yes Karen you, are you at work are you watching this at work oh dear <laughs> hope you don't get in trouble I hope you don't get in trouble right so that's pretty much it done it's just a case of whether um whether we add any little gems i feel like i need to add some gems i think i'm going to go just with some in the corner top left bottom right i think right let me put this die away so i don't lose it and i'm going to use the gorgeous die gorgeous dies gorgeous gems from lucy's shop because I love these, they're so nice. Just got to decide what's, which one to go for. I did a little order of some of hers and they're just beautiful. They are just beautiful. Oh, that's the one. That's the bag. The Crystal Collection Sweetheart. I don't know if you can see this. Let me hold it up a bit more. You can see that. So that's, um, that's the ones I'm going to use. Let's get my sorry if I joggy, hopefully I won't. Um okay, you got glaucoma. Yeah, my mum's got glaucoma, it might be something to do with that. Yeah. Right, let's empty this out. This is what I do with my gems. You probably don't see this when I do videos, but I just empty them out on here and then I use my little picky uppy thing and I use some Anita's glue. Karen, I'm sorry you missed most of this. Um, yes, please do just replay it. Uh, I need to, when I come off here, I'm going to fathom out what I need to do to make sure that, you know, it goes up fine and all the rest of it. Um, and I'm going to put a better thumbnail on because the thumbnail I put up was shocking. I'm really sorry. I didn't have a finished card to show you because I'd never made it before. Oh, my sticky thing's not sticky. Any ideas on how to make it sticky again? Oh, there we go. That's better. Yeah, I'm going to use pink, I think. I could use white. Could you use white? No, I think we need to use pink. I think pink is the way forward. So one, two, three. And then I need three more. There's one. There's two. I need one more. Three. There we go. There we go. Do I have a blog? I do have a blog. But I don't do anything on it. I'm just so busy that I don't have time to do it. And I do try to keep it up to date. Pepsi on oh my days. Sorry, this cat is meowing. I'm going to let her in, in the hope she doesn't jump on the desk. Just bear with me. Look, I think she just wants food. But if I leave her out there, Tanya, your dogs are going to go crazy. So bear with. Let me just quickly um, let the cat in. Come on, puss cat. In you come. She'll come in and meow at me now, probably. Yes, give a thumbs up, please. I agree. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, hello, Pepsi. What's the matter? What's wrong? Well, I'm sorry if you want food, but you're going to have to wait. Aren't you? Yes, you are. Trust you to want to make an appearance on my video, on my live stream, Pepsi. Hmm? Right, let's get these gems on. She's very funny, this cat. She was a rescue cat. She was abandoned on the canals of Birmingham. And uh, hi, Pepsi. Beverly says hi. What have you got to say for that, Pepsi? Hey? She's walking off. How rude. She's just turned away and walked off. How very rude of her. I'm afraid you can't teach cat manners. Does anybody else have a problem with their um, nozzle on their Anita Saki glue getting blocked up the whole time? Mine is always getting blocked up. It's very annoying. Right, there we go. There's my glue. Thank you for all the thumbs up. I hope your dogs aren't going too crazy, Tanya. <laughs> Sorry, I apologise for my cat. Um, she's living the life right now. She used to, I mean, th four years ago? Four, three or four years ago. I can't remember how long we've had enough. Three or four years ago, she was um, being fed by builders on the canals of Birmingham. So, um there you go and now she's living the life and all she's got to do is complain honestly i'd love to be a, i'd love to be a cat i'd love to have her life wonderful time right 
There we go. Uh, what has everyone said? I have all the pieces drawn out on my cameo and it's cutting. Fabulous. You know what? I did think about getting a cameo, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I've got nowhere to put it anyway. And I just thought, you know what? I probably wouldn't use it very often. And they're off. Yes, they are. Definitely are. Um, uh, you store upside down. Yeah, I do. I store mine upside down on the desk. But for some reason, it's just, I don't know if I've trimmed it too much on that end. I don't know. Anyway, I just stick a pin up it and it's easy, sorts it out. So there you go, people, the finished card. So there we go. Does anybody want me to run through the, the pieces again? I know you can rewatch it, but if anybody wants me to run through the pieces again now, um, while I'm on, just before I disappear off, then please let me know. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, wonderful card. I was quite pleased with this, I have to say. So I don't know, has anybody seen this card before? Because I've actually come up with this myself. I did a version. Now I'm going to give you a sneak peek. This is this video, this sneak peek video, okay, is actually, um, I've actually filmed this. So I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek. So I've done half of this. So this was supposed to be the second video and the card I'm holding in my hand that I'm about to show you was the first. So this is the first. And then I was like, oh, I could do a double. So then that's why I've come up with a double. Okay, so the video for this will be going up soon. In fact, I might change this and do this on Sunday. So the video for this, I'm going to switch it round, will be going up on Sunday. Um, yeah, and hopefully nobody will pick me to the post in the meantime. Although they may do. Right, so let me go through the sizes again then. Uh, you want to see Pepsi? She's just gone outside. <laughs> She's just gone out. That's what she does. She comes in. Meow, 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 meow. And then the moment you kind of give her any attention, she's like, nah, stuff you, I'm off. And she'll walk off. So she's gone. Um, thank you, Mrs. Croft. Great job on your first live. Um, thank you, Holly. <laughs> you have seen it before, Beverly. Cool. Okay. I wasn't sure. I just kind of, I come up with things, but then I never know if it's because I've seen it or if I've come up with it. But I looked at it and thought that must have been done before. That looks too obvious to have not been done before. Um, what size envelope? So this needs, this will fit into an envelope for a five by seven card. So when you fold it down flat, that is five sorry seven by five by seven okay so when you fold it flat that is five by seven so it'll fit in an envelope for that and obviously depending on how much wad you put on depends on how well it will fit in right let me quickly go through the quickly go through the measurements for those of you who came a bit later so the base card you need for the back so for this bit here is five by twelve um the boxes that we've got here you need two boxes that are three and a quarter by four two that are two and three quarters by three and two that are two and a quarter by two okay so that's those boxy bits then your mats and layers the centerpiece here you need a mat that's two and three eighths by four and seven eighths and a pattern piece that's two and a quarter by four and three quarter then for these sides here and also for the back the sides here are the mat is three and three eighths by four and seven eighths and the pattern you need two patterns that are three and a quarter by four and three quarters and then you also need two plain white pieces that are the same size that are for the back okay then for your um mats and layers for the actual boxes i call this pillar a pillar b pillar c so pillar a you need two that two mats that are seven eighths by three and seven eighths and two patterns that are three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters pattern pillar b i will look at your comments in a moment pillar b you need two mats that are seven eighths by two and seven eighths and two patterns that are two uh, three quarters by two and three quarters and then last but not least pattern c pillar c you need two mats that are seven eighths by one and seven eighths and two patterns that are three quarters by one and three quarters. <sighs> My goodness, I hope you managed to get all that down. If you wrote all that down as I read that out, then you are Mrs. Speedy Writer or Mr. Speedy Writer. Uh, right, so we've got to hear your um, comments. Uh, five by seven. Yeah, I like a five by seven. Uh, I know, Pepsi. Um, yeah, see, I do use dyes, but... Um, I do use dies, but it's just, I, I appreciate that not everyone's got them. And I remember when I first started, I didn't have any dies. I didn't have any stamps. I, all the paper I had was, you know, gift wrap or, 
you know, I didn't really have any patterned papers. I couldn't afford to buy things. I used to use buttons off jackets and things. So I appreciate that people don't have that stuff. So I use everything now, a bit of both. But also the craft class that I do on a Monday with my ladies here in Birmingham, um, again, they some of them have been crafting years and have lots of stash. Some of them don't have very much, um, you know, or just started out or whatever. So I try and cater for everybody. So, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, thank you, Tanya. You've subscribed and your bell will ring. Fabulous. Wonderful. So I'm going to sign off unless anybody's got any last questions. If you've got any last questions, I shall hold on for a couple of minutes and then I will disappear off and I will go and plan my next video. <laughs> so that's all right, Karen. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys all enjoyed it. So I've finally done it. I've finally gone past the... Um... Oh, with inked fingers. Hello, hello, hello. It's good to see you. One of my major, my top commenting person. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, have a great weekend, Beverly. Have a good Memorial weekend. Hope you have a nice time. And I hope the sun comes out for you guys as well. So, yep. Cool. Right. That's no problem, Karen. And um, thank you guys for joining me. I didn't know if anybody would join me because I hadn't given anybody a notice. It was lastweek.com. I was like, is anybody actually going to be here? <laughs> be me on my own crafting. I really did think it was going to be me on my own crafting, I have to say. I did actually think that. Um, yeah, I want to give you sneak peeks, but I'm not going to because, yeah. Right. OK, I'm going to disappear off then. So feel free to keep leaving comments under the video. And um, Yep, and you will see, as I say, the half version of this, you will see that on Sunday, because I will reschedule that now for Sunday. So, yeah, have a good weekend, whatever you're doing, and I will see you again. Yeah, no, sorry with ink fingers. I didn't know I was live either. Well, I didn't know I was live, that's a lie. What I mean is, this morning when I woke up, I didn't know I was going to do a live. I was just prepping this card, um, and then I suddenly thought, oh... I could do it as a live because I was literally about to film it and I thought, no, let me just do it as a live. Let me just have a go. So, um, yeah, so that's why I I did, I did that. I just thought, let me just do it. I had all the bits cut out pretty much. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you, Barbara. It's Louise, not Eloise. L -L -L Louise, it's spelled L-O-U-I-S-E. I don't even know how to spell my own name. Dear me. Um Thank you very much. Yep, cool. What I want to do, just as well, leave me some comments of what things you want me to do in lives if you want. Um, I don't know what you want. Oh, Pepsi, you come back. Pepsi, come here a second. Right, I'm going to introduce you to my cat. Pepsi, come here. Come, come here. Come here. Come. He's like, are you going to give me food? If not, I'm not interested. Come here. Come. No, she's off. She's like, no, I don't want to be on YouTube. I'm not ready for my first YouTube. Um, cool. Right, well, we love this guy. I did not enjoy this first time. I look forward to more videos. Yes, yeah, so leave me a little note, a little comment, what you want for the next, you know, next time I do a live. I won't be doing one next week, definitely not, because the schools are off, so that's not going to happen. Um, potentially the week after, might be able to do one. We'll just have to see. I have to say, my weeks are very busy. I never know from one week to the next what's happening. So, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, she is camera shy. Yeah, she is. Um... No, don't worry. Don't worry, Barbara. Easily done. Easily done. I used to get called Helen all the time. So <laughs> for various reasons, various people, family members, friends who I know who are called Helen and know people I know. And I used to get, I don't know why. But yeah. Right. OK, I'm going to shoot off then. Um, please leave me any comments about things you want um, going forwards. Uh, yeah. And um, I'm going to start doing... The other thing is what I was looking at doing was maybe doing... Um, <laughs> Uh, some kind of um, some kind of uh, come on brain work some kind of like um, membership type thing so um, you know the opportunity to I don't know I don't know <laughs> any comment any 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 mm -hmm. ideas please let me know what sorts of things you want to see what sort of things you want to do etc yes Pepsi hopefully will come and see you next time hopefully she will right I'm going to disappear off then. Thank you all for joining me and we'll see you again next time. Please continue to leave comments and we'll see you all next time. Now I've got to try and work out how I come off this. This is going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, so 
hopefully I'll be able to go now, but I don't know if I will. Let's see if I can. Um, so I'll see you all next time and hopefully you'll enjoy the video on Sunday. See you everyone. Oh, let me just take this off. Oh dear. See, this is not good, is it? Here we go. Right. Yes, I do.